and I start panicking and then freaking out and then I get it all done in the end. I think I saw a tweet, it was like, I'm gonna get it done, I just have to be dramatic first and that's definitely me. I'm gonna get it done but I have to be like dramatic. This is the life of a biology major. Always stressing. I'm joking. Maybe. Don't, don't play with her, don't be the saddest Still not understanding this logic Back and I'm better I want you bad as ever Don't let me just let up I wanna give you better Baby, it's whatever Somebody gotta step up on that Somebody's on next go Be damn if I let them catch up Take us for money. If I wrote you a symphony. Hey y'all, it's Lauren Kennedy and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just about a chaotic week in my life. Because y'all, it's chaotic. I'm preparing for a grad school interview. I also have so much work to do, y'all, and I'm currently sitting in the science building preparing for my nine o'clock class it's 8 33 i think i have a pop quiz this morning so we love that maybe maybe not but i have so much to do let me show y'all my agenda and i also realized i forgot that i have a homework assignment to do this friday so that sounds about right that's the story of my life me forgetting that i have to do stuff or stuff is due and then i start panicking and then freaking out and then i get it all done in the end i think i saw a tweet it was like i'm gonna get it done i just have to be dramatic first and that's definitely me because i'm gonna get it done but i have to be like dramatic super dramatic so Right now, like I said, I'm about to prepare for class, so I'm just going to go do and see if I have all the slides for this morning and study for this quiz if we have one because I did not study over the weekend. I really tried to get myself like the weekend off because I normally do not. And yeah, it's kind of weird because there's nobody in here. It's 835 class. Well, I mean, classes start at 9, so I guess it makes sense for people not to be here, but normally it's like people that come. I gotta remember like I'm an early bird, so people probably aren't up. I think it's just me. I'm coming to my class in the evening and see what I go through on a day to day. This is the life of a biology major. Always stressing. I'm joking. Maybe. So, yeah, I'll see y'all in a few. So putting that on your radar, we do have our first exam coming up in a week from today. Now that it, one, needs to be able to adhere, two, it needs to be able to make its way into the cell so that it can essentially uncoat the genome and then transcription and translation to occur in order to create a virus. That's your RNA. Yeah. So for group two with the single stranded DNA, so you said that it has to be converted into double stranded. So like just can you explain that a little bit more like i understand that it has to read be able to read the polymerase but i'm just kind of confused like how how is it converted from single stranded to double stranded yeah the same way that normal re dna replication can occur okay. as long as there's a primer and something that is acting as a primer that provides a three prime hydroxyl group our normal dna polymerase inside of the cell can build off of it okay just like what would happen with normal DNA replication. Okay. But in order to be compatible with RNA polymerase, it needs to be in the double-stranded format. Okay. And then again, if it wants to bring with it its own types of polymerases and it doesn't have to rely on the cellular polymerases, then it can kind of break the rules of this a little bit, depending on what it packs with it. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, that's nuts, Billy. That's nuts, Billy. 21, can you do something for me? 
Can you hit a little rich flex for me? Then 21, can you do something for me? Drop some bars to my pussy ex for me. Then 21, can you do something for me? Can you talk to the ops next for me? Then 21, do your thing, 21, do your thing. Do your thing, 21. Alright, y'all, so I needed a brain break. My say this morning was just really overwhelming for me. I don't know if it's because I had so much to do or because like the information. Yeah, I feel like in terms of information, we went from zero to like a thousand. Sometimes I'm a little slow. So I was like kind of lost because we covered so much information in one time period. Bro, I was like lost. I took a little brain break. I got me a sandwich. I got um, turkey, bacon, pepperoni cheese, and lettuce, and wheat bread, and I have some chips and something to drink. And then I'm gonna go into research and work on some of my work there because tomorrow I think I'm supposed to be doing PCR. Today is supposed to be a long day. I have a lab at 3.30 to 5. Tomorrow is gonna be a super busy day for me. I have lab at 8.30, class until 3 o'clock. I have an FHB meeting at 3.45, then an SGA meeting at 6 o'clock, then gym and homework. So my days are about to be like jam-packed, y'all. I need to go for my interview Thursday. I have to prepare for that, pack. Then I have all these assignments due Friday. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get all of that in before I leave on Thursday. So I'm a little stressed. But it's going to all work out because I'm going to get it all done. I'm going to show y'all how I start just knocking things off the checklist because y'all, I refuse to be stressed this week going into interviews. So I'm going to eat my lunch and I'm going to see y'all in a few. I got too many hoes. I can't hang you. Y'all, this sandwich is hitting. Like, it's hitting. It never misses. Okay, so you started in class. Um, I guess you don't have me. I've been working all day. I like to run the streets in the dark. Go back up. Okay y'all, so it's later on after I went to the gym and a dinner. I had some chicken, rice, and broccoli. And now I'm doing my homework. Y'all, y'all know I had all of those things to do, so I'm locking in. I'm getting my homework done. I'm not gonna really film a lot because I have a lot to do. And I'm watching How to Get Away with Murder. I'll see y'all in the morning because I have another busy day. I have an 8.30 a.m. lab, y'all. I have a lot of lab work to do tomorrow, so I'll just see y'all then. Good morning, y'all. It's 8.30. And I'm waiting for the bus to take me to the building so I can go to my 8.30 lab. I'm tired, but we're going to push through because I have no other choice. Today, I'm going to literally be working from 8.30 to 7 p.m. because I have meetings until 7 p.m. So wish me luck because I'm going to be drained. But I'm going to bring y'all to lab with me. So come on. Good morning. Good morning, Grant. Grant this morning? Yes. Well, it's chilly side this morning, isn't it? Yes, it's freezing. Told me about all your insecurities, boy. Drag me like two hours to your family's house for one. Save for me some time, but I should stick around with one. All this felt like sticking around some sad to be loved. You're like 
cars with the AK Getting under my skin Pretty little young thing I don't need to call her feelings Got me too excited Yeah You play me You play me, you play me Throw down dirty, shameful, crazy I need to know how to know nigga Who God does the same thing I do for a living But it's way less way behind you Jimmy Key straight faces and all the pictures that I've seen lately. No one knows you still look amazing. That's besides the point I'm making. Your way to a baby lady, they have to force it, have the face. Like damn, she in her mood. 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 She lit, your money too. Like damn, she in her mood. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. Hey, you packing out nobody's pants? All right, y'all. So I'm out of my lab, and I got some Starbucks. It's it's not the it is real starbucks but it's not like the actual starbucks we got this little like cafe where they serve starbucks i'm going to work on my presentation before my next class y'all this is so chaotic i literally have back to back like research back to back for like three hours and now i finally get to eat something real quick i got a bacon egg and cheese and um then i have my graphic design class that I have to present in. So, and then right after that, I have to finish my research. And then I have a meeting, then I have to do research in another meeting at six. A chaotic day, y'all. It's crazy. You feeling? I'm good today. My hair? Yes, yeah, Yes, I love LeBron James. That's my boy. He's still a whole other quarter left. Paul Gazzari. Hey y'all, so uh, today, I didn't really vlog much yesterday because I was really, really busy and really tired. I was literally going from 8.30 to 7 and I just needed a break. So I just was like, I'm not going to vlog. I went to bed super early and I watched LeBron James breaking the all-time all -time scoring record. But I was like in and out of sleep. So I was just like, I'm just not going to record. So today, um, I am going to be preparing for my interview for my grad school interview tomorrow on top of trying to get all of my homework assignments done because i have to get them all done before i leave tomorrow so while also working on a project and doing all of that so right now i'm just having lunch before i go to research and during my research time i'm going to do some of my homework as well as finish up a part of my project that i was working on yesterday yeah it's kind of chaotic and uh this evening i hope to like have some sort of downtime to edit like my other youtube videos because it's just a lot going on so i'm gonna eat my food and i'm gonna see y'all later no she's listening go ahead no, i don't think no, she's no, listening i'm listening i'm listening <laughs> she's I not listening because i have to leave right after this what makes dominican republic latino oh, no that's not true don't don't <laughs> that's not uh, true yeah but isn't it based on like location though Lo like location exactly or, so like, haiti's right in, haiti's right next to dominican republic so why would it they they all they technically go on an island just separated by water not even a river but would you cons would you really consider people from the dominican republic they are latinos no i i could not say they're dominican they are latinos you can be Mixed all throughout pregnancy. That's Direct false. blood mixing process is essential to deliver nutrients and remove waste. And the, the baby don't. Yeah, yeah. They, they don't mix blood until, until after birth. Until yeah. Birth. Yeah. That's yeah, why sometimes you have a C section if you are shedding HSV2. Yeah. So, wait, like, so why can like, like a child in, like, get HIV then? Isn't that possible? Can it be passed down? The There's tons begin. of vertical transmission yeah. of HIV. Yeah, especially in like developing countries. Viruses are 
able to cross the placenta just like certain um, nutrients are, it's like immunoglobulin, like IgG, right? So certain viruses are able to infect, so like the mother has, the baby's going to have it. Other viruses are only going to be able to come in contact during like actual rupturing of blood and blood mixing. That's like an immuno with RH, RH versus ABL blood type. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna say we're gonna we'll load five microliters of the uh, size standard. Usually, people there's different names for it: size standard, marker, ladder. I usually call it a ladder because it looks like a ladder. <laughs> mixture of dyes that run at different speeds in the gel so you can get a sense of approximately how far the gel has run by looking at the different dyes how far they run in the gel. Right. Uh, stabilize myself and you want to get the tip like in the well but not like poking through the well just make sure that like the very tip of the tip is beyond the top and then very gently release it into the well and don't release the plunger until you're out of the well. Don't look through the bottom of the gel. You just want to get just into the well. I can't really see. I know, it's hard to see. Alright y'all, so I went on a sheets run and got an iced tea and some Oreos because I was craving something sweet. Finished my cheat sheet for my interview. So that's what I've been working on. And now I'm about to edit my YouTube video, begin packing for tomorrow. And yeah. Y'all, she eats hot Cheetos Listen, with pickles. Let's my fingers. Okay, so I seen this thing on TikTok where this lady, this pregnant lady, she crushed up some flaming hot Cheetos and got some like the what is it called? Like the dill pickles and put them put them together, like smash up the hot Cheetos, put them in a baggie, put the dill pickles like in the bag. Bro, I put the sheets and got some dill pickles and hot Cheetos. That bust down. Like it's so good. Like it's so good. Like the, the pickle, like the tanginess. Like the vinegary flavor with the, the hint of salt with the hotness, top tier. No, oh, Kim, don't stress her. Do it, do it, Kim, do it, do it. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, it's the next day, and I'm packing for my interview. So this is everything I'm packing. I'm staying for a couple of days. Yes, I overpack because I want to make sure I have everything that I need. So I'm going to load this up into the suitcase and then and then get dressed for today. What well, she really just asked me? What do you mean? Would I be mad? Hey y'all! I just asked her if she would be mad if I body slammed her into the grass. No, nah, we will be fighting. Like I'm talking about fist fighting. I will beat you up. We're going to lunch. And I just packed and I have class and I'm completely unprepared for a presentation I have in about an hour, <laughs> but life's good. All right y'all, so we're in lunch and today was actually really good. I was so hungry I forgot to record, but I had some chicken and corn and I got some pizza and we got pineapple and Cam got some meatloaf and some pizza. Got some corn and mashed potatoes. Oh yeah, it was so random, but W. Dub. Hey y'all, so I'm on my way to my interview. I'm getting gas right now. Um, my presentation went really good. Like we were stressing, but it all came together. We like winged it, so it turned out really good. Objective of 
the assignment was to persuade someone to rule one way or another for a controversial topic and ours was tattoos and piercings in the workplace and I had to put on fake tattoos as in this picture y'all and the tattoos look really real and we were struggling to like get them off and my skin is like red because I was struggling to get it off both of my forearms y'all so but they're off and I was like how ironic is it that I'm about to go to an interview and I'm putting tattoos on for my interview that is controversial so but I was able to get them off so I'm about to run into sheets and get some get something to drink for the road and I'm heading to my grad school interview y'all y'all she's going home for a family emergency <laughs> What flavor is it? Blueberry white tea. I don't know about no blueberry white tea. You just get the the regular one, the green tea. That's the best one. Hey y'all! So I officially made it to my interview. I'm going to let y'all guess where I'm at. But my room, I feel like my room is so nice. The room is so nice. They gave me a lot of things. I'll give y'all a quick room tour of everything, but I'm super excited. I can't wait to see like what they have in store. Um, I don't know, I'm just really excited, y'all. So to start, this is the bathroom, y'all. I love the ice cream cones. It looks so cute. And this is the shower, super cute. So then when you go over here, of course, like the coat closet, but this is what I love the most, the lamp. That's so unique, I've never seen that before. I've never seen anything like that. But this is the overview of the room. It's so nice, y'all. Of course, like, you know, you have the TV. I put all of my snacks down right there. I have to, like, get my life together, y'all. Like, I have to get my life together. I always sleep on the bed closest to the window. I don't know why. I just do. I can't sleep close to the door. And then there's another mirror over here. So cute. And then they gave me... I called it a swag bag. They gave me a little swag bag, y'all. Of course, I, I already took everything out because I was so excited. I felt like this was so cute. But they gave me two water bottles. And they have my name on it. This collapsible water bottle. Um, some pretzels. Some mints. And a pen then they gave me some skinny pop and a little valentine's day rice crispy tree it won't focus there we go it's so many it's so cute then down here like they hid the fridge so the fridge is down here so i'm gonna put my drinks and stuff in there after i finish recording and then um a lock or safe in here I guess it's just shelving. I thought it was a microwave, but it's okay. But that's everything. The drive wasn't that bad. It was only like an hour and 45 minutes. So it wasn't too bad, but um, I need to get situated because I have a dinner at 6.30. And then I have to, actually I have to prepare. I have to go back down to my car because I have to put my parking pass inside of my car. And I don't know what I did with that. Oh, it's right here. And then I have to change because I'm not wearing a hoodie. Like, what kind of first impression not wearing a hoodie to a grad school interview dinner? I'm going to get my life together and I'll see y'all in a few. Isn't this so cute, y'all? The walls are literally bookshelves. It's so cute. It's like we're going into, like, hidden books. 
This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, y'all. I told y'all I had to get my life together. So, this is what I'm wearing. I just have on my flannel with um, a black bodysuit and some jeans. I'm going to put on my Doc Martens. And this is the jewelry that I have on. I have my coach bracelet on with just some plain jewelry and the ring to tie it all together. But super like cute and classy um, just to kind of meet my host. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm super excited uh, and I can't wait. This is the fit. My teeth look so pretty. So I'm about to head down. So I'm about to head down for the dinner. I don't know if I should bring my camera. What y'all think? I don't know if it would be appropriate. I don't know. This mirror, y'all, is bomb. All right, y'all. So I'm back in the room after the dinner. And it went really well. We had tacos and we had churros and cheesecake. And it was just really good. It was good vibes. I don't know if it's just me, but when I'm around like a new group of people or a group of people I'm not familiar with, I'm a little bit more on the shy side just to kind of fill out the people in the room and then kind of see what kind of vibe I get and then kind of go from there. I'm not really like the, I would say like, I wouldn't even say like the loudest in the room, but I'm not the first like person that like I just put all my personality out there. I gotta get like used to the atmosphere first. But we just had the opportunity to talk to graduate students and I definitely think that the in-person experience is a lot better because you can really just, I would say like you can really just ask them all these questions and you know like through Zoom, it can be a little bit awkward. So <laughs> I think it kind of breaks the breaks the tension a little bit but it was definitely a cool experience for sure in the meantime i had to look over like some of my notes for tomorrow just to make sure i'm prepared i'm gonna call my mom and then i'm going to i have homework still to do i have an exam on monday it's thursday and i have an exam monday so i have to make sure i'm still up to date on my assignments just because your girl took a trip does not mean that she does not have any work Will I be excused? No. I still have stuff to do. I have to make sure I still get that done, but in the meantime, I might call it a night. Um, I don't know. I might vlog for y'all for a little bit more. I don't know. We'll see. If not, I'll see y'all in the morning. And yeah. Oh, also, y'all, I might turn on the TV and watch some Netflix. It's only 9 o'clock, and your girl is, your girl likes to stay up late, so I might stay up for like a, a few more hours. I'm not really tired. I have a lot of energy, so... Yeah. Good morning, y'all. So it's currently, uh, it's early in the morning, and um, I'm about to go downstairs for breakfast because I have a long day ahead of me, y'all. I am literally going to be gone from 8:15 to like 4:45, and then we have a dinner. So I'm going to be on the go all day. This is my interview outfit. It's super comfy because we're going to be on our feet a lot. And it's still professional and business casual, so try to make sure that it still was comfy, you know, still presentable. Today is officially my last day of my interview. We were going on a housing tour. Last night went so good. My interviews were very like informal. Um, they just kind of talked about their research. It was just a really good experience. I feel like in-person interviews are completely different from the virtual ones. So I just think that makes it 
so much better but after that we all went to dinner at one of the faculty's house and y'all it was so funny we were all cracking jokes just having a good time and afterwards we had an ice cream social and that was just a good time as well i just think i had a really good stay honestly it was a break away from school um, it was good to see new faces. I connected with a lot of people that were here, which is really good. I feel like I made some friends here that could be my potential cohort members. And today we're going on an apartment tour, so I'm super excited about that. We're going to get breakfast and then heading to the apartment tour. I check out in a few and um, I'm going to check out in a few and then after the apartment tour i'm going to head home i have an exam on monday and i'm realizing i'm so behind on editing like i need to edit my videos this is my outfit for today Oop, i don't know why i thought it was the same but i have on this black bodysuit from shein some jeans from pretty little thing and my super low mini uggs and i'm going to put on my olive tote bag it's kind of bittersweet because i kind of don't want to leave <laughs> But it's okay. Let me stop chatting before I'm late. I will see you all later. I had to record one last time in this mirror, y'all. And y'all, this hairstyle has been saving me this whole trip because my braids, it's time to go. So, but it makes them look, makes them look like they're brand new. My mom said I could hold on to them for like another month and I told her, mm-mm. But I'll see y'all later. so it's the next it's sunday so it's the day after or two days after i well no the day after i got back and um it's currently super bowl sunday um i just wanted to end this vlog out my visit was amazing i had a great time um it definitely changed my perspective a lot about like the school and what the school has to offer so i definitely feel like this is going to be a hard decision for me in terms of like choosing what grad school that i want to go to um i'm really starting to internalize the interviewing process and really appreciate this time because it's super fun it is formal but it's also informal i feel like they try to make you as comfortable as possible it is a recruitment event which means they want you to come to the school just as bad as you want to get into the school and come to the school so just trying to keep that into mind and make sure that i keep um an open mind about everything kind of appreciate the experience a lot more so that being said i will keep you guys updated on what school i decide to attend but thank you for watching this video and i hope to see y'all later bye